Hi guys, it's Selena and I'm back! Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've done one of these. I'm so sorry I've gone a bit MIA. I've kind of focused more on other platforms, which is super naughty, um, but I'm back! And today we are going to be doing this new curling technique. Well, it's not really new, but I've never really shared it. I don't know why, but I go through phases, I guess. And now I'm like back onto this. So not only do I have a new technique to show you this time, but also a brand new toy. It's the new Silver Bullet Titanium 210 Infrared Vivid Curling Iron. I have the 25 millimeter one today and I'm so excited that I'm like living for these curls. And if you find that whenever you curl your hair, it doesn't last as long or it tends to drop, you want to be watching this tutorial. So yes, yeah, stay tuned if you want to know how I achieve this look. Okay, so here we go. I'm super excited to use this for the first time. And also I'm living for this new packaging that they've come up with, like Silver Bullet, you have done it again. So look how slick that looks. So excited to use this. So at least you guys will get to see me use it for the very first time live. So that's what it looks like. Nice and slick. Oh my God, brand new toy. I love how there's like this Velcro bit as well because I'm such a neat freak. So when I pack my kit and stuff away after I use, I do like that there's that little bit there so you can roll up your cord so it doesn't get too messy and unorganized. Okay, so I've just plugged it in and I'm just gonna turn it on. Ta-da! I don't know if you can see that, but it's starting to blink. And I love that it's temperature controlled as well. And oh my God, it lights up like a lightsaber. That is sickening. <laughs> Um, so I'm assuming that when it's blinking, it's like warming up to the degree that you've set it on. And I'm just going to set mine to 180 because I never go any higher than that. Um, cause I don't want to fry my hair. So I'll just let that heat and do its thing. All right. So what, oh my God. And I love how there's a little stand thingy there. Cause then you can like rest it on like your bench so it doesn't burn. So we're just going to let that sit and do its thing and heat up. So I'll just show you a quick way of how I do mine in the morning. So see, I love, um, I don't know, I'm just loving the middle part at the moment. So we're just gonna continue that middle part all the way down and we're gonna split it up into two sections like yay. And then we're gonna take, I don't know, it depends on how much time I have in the mornings really. Sometimes I'll do like three sections, sometimes I'll just do two. God, I like blow dry my hair with mousse before, so it's a bit grippy. So into two sections, and then within the two sections, we're gonna take this top part out and we're gonna clip him away with a butterfly clip. So then you're left with two sections like this over your shoulder. And then within these two sections, we're gonna take little subsections like so. So I wouldn't take any, oh, you could go a little bit bigger than that, but not any bigger than that, especially when you're just practicing and learning. All right, so this is how I do this technique. So you can fold this flap away. Um, so with your clamp facing yourself, with this first section, I would clamp it again facing you. And then we're gonna twirl it back away from your face. Like so. So I use the Kevin Murphy Bodybuilder Mousse and blow dried that into my hair. I just find that that gives it like nice body and hold afterwards. Like I feel like I've like prepped my hair well enough, but if you haven't got mousse or anything, um, I would just give it like a light spray before I curl. So this is the um, Kevin Murphy Session Spray, the gold one. You either love this one or you like hate it. I like am obsessed. So just like a light spray. 
Now with this section, actually we're gonna break this up into like another two because I don't wanna like confuse everyone. All right, so with the next section, I'm gonna take it, get your wand, and this time we're gonna face it this way. And this infrared thing is good because then you can like, you don't get too confused about, you know, what way is going what. So then we're gonna clamp it with the infrared part facing you this time and the clamp backwards. Then we're gonna clamp. And then instead of going away, this is like the only time I will let you go forwards and wrap and twist and go around facing you. So this time this curl is going towards you, not away from you. And you just keep twirling. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming, swimming. See? Okay, so you've got one going backwards and one going forwards. And we're gonna continue that. So what do we do for the next one? We're gonna go Backwards. So what do we do when we go backwards? We have the clamp facing you this time. So in with the clamp facing you. And this time we twirl it backwards. Pack it up, pack it up. Mm -mm -mm. Um, it's really tricky doing it like on selfie mode <laughs> instead of a mirror. But you guys get the concept, right? Like it's just, we're going back and you don't really have to hold it down for too long, especially if you're spraying as you're going, but yeah. Ta-da! And now we're gonna do the same, but on the other side. So we're gonna grab your section and then we're gonna grab tiny sections, well, subsections within your section. And then again, we're going to go the same technique, but on the opposite side. So we're gonna grab it, and this section, we're gonna go away from your face. So clamp down with the clampy bit facing you, and then we're twirling this without burning your face or your ears. <laughs> I've done that before. And we're twirling it away from your face. The last time I mermaid waved my hair, I tried to be tricky and like use it on my other hand and I legit like burnt myself so much. There's like a scar there now. <laughs> Sad. Has anyone else burnt themselves with a wand or like a heating tool of some sort? Cause I have. It's not good. Again, I'm just gonna spray a little bit. Okay, so this time we're gonna go towards you. So that means we're gonna have the infrared part facing you. And we're gonna clamp down. And we're gonna curl it towards your face. I would never curl my hair all going front ways, like ever, except for when I do this particular style. So this is the only time it's an exception. But I just find all the curls going front ways is just like, I mean, like each of their own. It just doesn't suit my face shape or like most face shapes I find because it's just a bit like confronting. <laughs> okay, and there you have it. And now we're gonna turn this one front way. So we're gonna have it with your clamp facing you. Clamp down, then we're gonna curl it away from your face. So this one, I purchased the 25 millimeter wand because I just feel that, I don't know, I use this like diameter on most of my clients because I feel like it lasts longer and I just find that, you know, with the, the length that my hair is at now, it's just a good length. And I love that, I haven't even got, my other one to show you. It's in the car at the moment, but I love that it is a little bit longer than my, um, just my normal average curling wand. So I don't know, with girls in particular, my, like my um, hair extension clients, this would be sickening 
because it is that little bit longer and it's got a cool tip as well. So you don't burn yourself and it's easy to hold and use. Loving it. And this is grippy as well, this texture. So it's not like slippery or anything. It's easy to hold. And it's super light. Like, I wish I could. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> She's hot. It's fun. All right. So then we're going to take another section. If I'm lazy, I'll just do this in like one big section. But we're not doing that. We're going to be good today. So then we're going to take, I don't know, like this halo bit out. And we're going to section it away. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this whole section just like a light mist. So these have titanium plates, obviously, hence the name, and infrared heat. So therefore, it distributes the heat more evenly all the way down. It also retains hair moisture. So then you just get a more glamorous shine afterwards. And for anyone that finds that their hair doesn't last whenever they curl it, this technology is meant to make it last longer as well. So give it a try. My hair, if anything, holds like too well with curls. Um, I don't know, it depends on the weather, I guess. I haven't, I don't know, my hair's been dropping out more actually recently. Can you just see if this holds it better i feel like you know when it's gonna hold or when it's gonna drop and i can already see that that's definitely gonna hold okay so this one again with the lightsaber part facing you we're gonna clamp it down and then we're gonna curl it towards you I would always recommend you put some kind of thermal heat protector in your hair first. Blow dry that into your hair whilst it's wet to dry before you do any heat styling. But the good thing about this is that it assists in protecting against thermal damage. So that's going to be better off for your hair long term. This part's a bit chunky, but it's fine because I don't want to like take up too much of your time. But I think you guys are kind of getting like the concept of this. But stay tuned. We're going to keep doing this except for this top section. We are going to do it completely different from how we've been doing the rest. And I will explain why afterwards. There is a method to my madness. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, keep twirling. My God, it's been like so long. I've missed you guys. Tell me what everyone's been up to. Tell me all the things I missed you. Put everything in the comment section below. Like how was everyone's 2020? I mean, that was just like, I don't even have words for what that year was. It was like a massive glitch in the matrix, but we're back now. And I think everyone's doing better. And again, see this one, we go clamp and we twirl it back. I love how smooth it's gliding through my hair as well. It just kind of looks grippy because I've put like that much mousse in it because I really want this to last. But yeah, it's not like pulling on my hair or anything. It's just like nicely gliding through, which is nice. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry, I get really excited over like hair stuff. Anything hair, I'm just like, I don't know. Hair is life. It's like your crown. The crown that you never take off. Okay, and this one, we're gonna go. Oh my god, can you guys see that that steam? That's a good thing, isn't it? Like, it means it's like retaining all the moisture in your hair. So it's not going to dry the crap out of it. Um, also, another really good thing is if you're always like, because I'm up at like six o'clock every single morning. That's just how my life is now. <laughs> um, and you're always in a rush. <laughs> Me. Um, and sometimes like, you know, you think you've turned something off but you really haven't this is amazing because yeah it has an automatic switch off i don't know how long it stays on for until it no i think it just knows like if you haven't like 
picked it up or touched it in a long time, it will just automatically turn off after a certain time. So that's comforting for someone like me who's always in a rush, which that is something I am going to work on this year. I am change. I'm going to change my wording. I'm working on this year is just to be a lot more like in the moment and mindful, practice more gratefulness and mindfulness and just be in the moment more and like just not rush around so much. I try, but I mean like it's March. I mean, it's only March. It's fine. We got this. We got this. And I want to start drinking more water, which I have been. I've been actually really good. There used to be times where I would go like a whole day without drinking any water. How bad. Like the only water that I would have is the water that was in my coffee, in my long wipes. And that's like nothing. <sighs> okay, so this last section, we're going to do different to the rest. So again, we're going to go in with Ken. Okay, so for this section, we're going to do different because I just find that once we brush all of this out, it just sits better. Because ultimately we want to create like body and movement, but kind of have, have it in a way that it just sits nicely. So with this whole top halo section, we're going to curl everything back. Therefore, we're going to have the clampy bit facing you the whole time. So grab your section. And from like, I don't know, like, I guess the tip of your brow, you can start to like twirl it. So you guys can't see obviously, but I'm sitting on a really, really high stool and I'm like a meter or, or two away from where the power point is. And one thing that I love is that this cord is like super long. So you can have it plugged in from a fair distance and it, yeah, it still reaches which is awesome for um, when you're using it as a hairdresser on the salon floor because then you can plug it, you know, on the next station if you wanted to and have it dragged over, it will still reach. I hate it when the cords are too short, it's so annoying. Love an extra long cord. So this is the last section for this side of the head. So again, this whole section, we're going to twirl it back away from your face. I don't know if it's me or if my camera has just gone like really dark all of a sudden. I'm sorry if it has. All right, so this section, we are going to twirl everything back away like we've been doing. So clamp facing you and we're going to twirl everything back. Love how my phone's been like so quiet all day, and the moment I start filming, it's like bing, bing, bing. Why? All this way. All right. And again, we're gonna twirl everything back. I'm loving how my hair feels. Like I could just, oh, I just can't wait to brush this out. And just make sure you get all the hair. Like I do this flicky thing just to check to see if I've missed any bits. And yep, I have here. Oh my God. Okay, we're just gonna grab this old bit. <laughs> Clamp facing you and twirl everything back. Probably should have done that little part separately, but it's fine. Let me check. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, yeah. So now we always, 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 always let it cool down. I know, I normally like to go, I know, pick my outfit out for the day, but obviously I'm already dressed, so we're just gonna let it sit for like, let the potato sit for five to 10 minutes. Oh my God, potatoes. Potatoes are life, seriously. Potatoes are like my spirit vegetable. If I was a veg, wait, is potato a vegetable? I think it is. But if, yeah, you mean like how people have like spirit animals? I'm going in with my Kevin Murphy session 
spray flex. You guys can see that. And I'm just gonna give this a light spray over the top while it's cooling. Yeah, potatoes are definitely like my spirit vegetable for sure. If I had to pick one food to live on for the rest of my life, it would be potatoes. Okay, we're gonna let it cool down. I'll see you guys in five, 10 minutes. Okay, we're back and I've just let it cool down and I can already see it's gonna drop into a really nice curl. I've got um, the Kevin Murphy wide tooth comb. Um, you can use your fingers or any other like just I don't know, even like an afro comb or something, but um, yeah, I prefer something like this. And I will probably take out that top section. I mean, if you don't have time, you can literally just go straight in and start combing it. This is just if you have that little bit of extra time and you're going somewhere special, um, I would section out that top section that we curled differently to the rest. Differently, is that even a word? Oh my God, English, yes. And I'm going to start combing that all out. Oh my God. That's so nice. And then going in with your Kevin Murphy session spray flex, we are going to just lightly spray as we go. And when I say spray, I mean like like mist spray it, not like. And then wonder why your hair is like super crunchy. So I love this spray because it gives like. Use a hold of a hairspray, but see how brushable it is? Especially if you hate the feel of having product in your hair, this one's amazing because it's just like super light, but still has the hold of a normal hairspray. Um, and see how you can just get so much texture and volume from it as well. And then if you really want it like quite large or voluminous, I love the Kevin Murphy Powder Puff um, Volumizing Powder. This is like my bestest friend ever. So it's like as if you want to put teasing in it, but you don't want to put teasing in it, but still have the volume and the effect like you have. Because I hate teasing my hair, it just especially because it's been light, I just does not like it. So go in from where you want it to have a little bit of body. So I want to go in just like there. Dab it in. So it's like this fine powder. Oh, oh my god, that looks like it's fast. I would normally not apply it like that. I would just kind of dust it into my hair, but um, I had it in my hand. I didn't want to waste it. And it just gives you that little bit more. See how that's a little bit more voluminous than it was before? Because I just washed my hair this morning, so it's like super clean and flat. Again, we're gonna comb it all out. Give it a light little spray as we go. Again, this is an optional thing. Going with your powder puff. Don't breathe it in like I do. Oh my God, another little cute thing. He has a smiley face. Oh my God, so clumsy. Oh my God, I love it. So just a quick recap, see how it's like the titanium plates and the infrared heat just gives it like a nice soft curl that it's like, you can tell that's going to hold, yeah? And it just gives it that nice shine and finish. So I'm loving this. So for anyone that has um, curled their hair and they're finding it's not lasting, maybe give something like this a go because I swear it does make a massive difference. And it retains hair moisture as well, so it's not going to dry the crap out of your hair because being a hairdresser full time, I have to look a certain way and have my hair styled all day, every day. Um, so, I am very consciously aware of my heat tools and how dry or damaged they make my hair. So this one's amazing because it doesn't ruin my hair at all. So it assists in protection against thermal damage, which is amazing. Oh my God, I love it. And again, 
optional, but see how like, I mean, it's not offensive to the eye, but see how this is like a little bit flat and because it's so clean, I will just go in there, section that away and just give it a little, little, a little bit. See how it kind of just mats it out as well? Like if you're prone to getting oily flat hair, like um, this is freaking amazing. This will be your best friend. Look how cute and compact it is. You can literally put it in your handbag. Again, going in, dabbing in. Oh, I felt that one. Okay, so let's just like go back here. Can you guys see the difference between this side? To that, do you know what I mean? Can you see it? I hope that's picking it up. Oh, okay, so we're gonna do the same to this side. I'm going in with the powder puff. And you really don't have to put too much of it as well. I love this one because the other ones that I've used in the past, it's like, as soon as you accidentally put too much in, you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to wash my hair again. This one's amazing because you can't like overdo it. I don't know. Oh my God, I don't think that worked. There you go. You can just build this one. It's nice and soft and buildable. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. So the reason why I like to curl this section like one whole way compared to the others, because this bottom bit i wanted to have curls going different ways so it kind of has that foundation to you know sit on top of each other so that it will give you that volume and the purpose of having this go on top is that it's going to just sit nicer and frame your face a little bit more like so but then still have the support and the volume coming from underneath to bring it like out and I'm really bad at explaining myself, but visually you can see what I mean, right? Compared to like the, my other tutorials. Um, this one's a little bit more tricky. So if you found this one a little bit more tricky, like go and watch my other tutorials because that's a lot more simple and this is a little bit more advanced, but I just love the effect that it has given and all the body and volume that it's given me. All right, there you have it. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Let me know if you've learned or taken anything away. Even if you took away one thing from this video, that would like mean the world to me. And yeah, this is why I do what I do. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this tutorial. And if you have any other questions or you want me to review or do a certain tutorial on a specific style, please let me know down in the comment below. It's so good to be back. I've missed you guys so much. I hope you guys have been well and 2020 wasn't too painful for you guys. Um, yeah, please like, subscribe and share and add me on all my other platforms. I'll leave all the links down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.